So now that we've got our basic project set up over here where it says welcome to demo, this is going to be the same on iOS and Android. I've just got the iOS simulator running here. Um, next step we need to do is actually create some screens that we can navigate between. So in this case we're going to be calling them scarlet screen and gray screen. Um, so with that, like let's, let's just start setting up the actual components. And just to save time, I'm going to copy and paste, but um, we'll go through and actually talk through what I'm doing in each step. So first up, we're going to take care of our imports. Um, very common React stuff. We need to import React, and that's all we need to here. So I'll actually get rid of this component one. And then we're also going to be using style sheet, text, and view from React Native. And then finally, actions from React Native Router Flux. And this is probably the new one to you. Um, but that's what's going to actually allow us to navigate between the different screens. So next up, we'll actually create the component. And I'm just going to call this uh, Scarlet Screen. It's a stateless component. And it's very, very basic. We've got a single containing view, which has our container styles, um, a text component which with welcome styles, and it just says, says Scarlet Screen in there. And then finally, we'll add the styles, which we're not going to talk about here. It'll just add a little bit of color. Um, and then we also need to make sure we export this. So we'll do so there. Save that file. And we're going to do the exact same thing for the gray screen. Just going to change a couple variable names. We'll say gray screen, gray screen here. Let me make sure I get a gray background. And we'll just update the background color here on line 26. So we've got two screens set up. Let's make sure those are actually imported, or that they're actually functioning. So we'll just do this as a temporary solution. And then we'll just override this momentarily. And we should, in a moment, see the Scarlet screen pop up if everything went as expected. All right, just taking a moment to compile there. OK, cool. So we've got our Scarlet screen on there. We know this is going to work. Next up, we'll actually set up the routing between the screens.